Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Robert James Fisher and John Dadinsky. This was a chess simul and was played in 1964 and at that time Fisher was playing on 57 boards. Let's see how the game progressed. Fisher started with e4 and e6 by Dedinsky, French defense, d4, d5, knight c3 and bishop b4, black goes for winover variation. Fisher considered the winover variation anti-positional which weakens the king side. And now let's see how is he going to exploit the weaknesses of black's king side. e5, c5 a3 and bishop takes c3. Again, according to Fischer, trading of this dark color bishop is not a good idea. b takes c3, knight e7, a4, queen a5, bishop d2, c4, closing the queen side and also controlling this d3 square, not allowing white bishop to jump on d3 square from where the bishop can put pressure on black's king side. Knight f3, knight d7, knight g5, h6, queen h5, pinning the pawn on h6, g6, queen h3, knight b6, knight f3, bishop d7, queen h4, and now black is simply grabbing the pawn on a4, queen f6, with this single queen, Fischer is trying to create some problems for black, but black's position is very solid, rook h7. Here comes h4, and now comes knight f5. Probably only now Fischer understood that he is in trouble. Here comes a desperate h5 move, and after knight d7, believe it or not, but Fischer resigned. This is move 17, and Fischer's queen is trapped. What is more interesting is that Fischer's worst record was against the French defense, especially against the winover variation. Your comments and questions please, what do you think about this game? Good luck!